Hi, and welcome to my office. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a workout for work. And so this entire workout is gonna go along with this handout, working it at work. Um, so if you want to, you can do either follow along with the video or just do this workout on your own, but we're gonna go ahead and jump right in and get started. So for 30 seconds, we're gonna just start out walking in place and just get your heart rate up and try to help get you going. Um, this is a, it's good to warm up your body. You don't necessarily have to, but it's good to just get your heart rate up while you're getting started. And just another 10 seconds here. And this whole workout should take about 15 minutes. So we're gonna go into arm circles and you can go forward or backwards. You can go even side to side if you want, or kind of alternate which side your arm circles go. And these kinds of exercises are called dynamic stretching um, in the exercise world. So they're good to help get your body warmed up and help also work on flexibility as well. And so next we're gonna do arm reach. So this is a good exercise for your lat, just trying to Get your lat stretched out, going from side to side, really reaching over. Now static stretches, if I were to just hold this here, that's more of a static stretch, is what we call static stretching. And so those are good cool down exercises. So another two seconds here, and we're gonna go to hip circles. So, like your hula hoopy. Just going around in circles. And for another five seconds, and then we're gonna switch directions. Really circle and loosen up those hips. And next we're gonna go into side lunges. And so you're gonna just lunge to your side, touch the ground, come back up, touch the ground, come back up, touch the ground. And keep going. And this one actually can stretch out your hamstrings and your hips, and also good exercise in and of themselves. Just keeping your foot flat on the ground. And last but not least, just kind of go to touch the ground like you're touching the ground and just kind of bounce a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. You just touch the ground. And come back up. All right, and maybe you just need a quick break and that's good enough for you, but we're gonna hop into the actual workout that's on this working out at work. So the first thing on here is our incline bench press or the incline desk push-ups here. So get your hands comfortable on the desk and we're gonna just do 15 push-ups. You might need a pad or something down to help make your hands more comfortable. So maybe take your mouse pad if you need, kind of wrap it around. And 15. All right. So next on the list is seated knee tuck. So you're gonna grab your chair and hopefully you can kind of see. Turn this way here. You're gonna put your feet out and bring them back in. And hopefully not rotate. So hopefully if you have a swivel desk, you don't rotate too much. If you need something else to hold on to because your armrests are too low, you can kind of hold on to your desk. And we're gonna do 15 of those. to make those ones a little bit easier, just go and drop your feet on the ground and bring them up. Back to the ground, bring them up. Okay, so next we have chair dips. So again, hopefully you have something with 
armrests if you need to. You can also use your desk. So I'm gonna use the desk. Just stick your legs out and we're gonna come down. And you can let your knees bend a little bit here. Go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And our goal throughout this whole workout is to be looking at a difficulty level. If you're going from zero to 10, you wanna be somewhere between five and eight. So if you feel like your difficulty level is a little too high at 15 repetitions, bring it down. Try starting with 10. Um, that might be a good place to start. If it's feeling real easy, try 20. Keep going, try doing more than one set. So our next workout is exercise here is chair squats. So an important thing on chair squats is to sit back like you're actually sitting into a chair. So you're gonna sit back and come up. If you need to, try to find a desk or go against the wall so your chair doesn't move or find hopefully a chair that doesn't move very much at all. Four, five, six. And if you wanna make it harder, you can go one-legged. Done. Even here though, sometimes the, the chair will move away, so we go with it. Here we're just gonna march and punch up. So opposite arm, opposite leg, kind of walk through. Sideways here, you got this going. Bring your knee all the way up to parallel if you can. And just kind of walk it out. If you feel like you can go a little quicker, go ahead and push it a little quicker. So one important thing with lunges, you don't want your knee to go over your toe. So we're gonna go step front and back here. We're supposed to do 15, so we'll do seven each leg, which will take us to 14. That'd be pretty close. Six, six, seven, and seven, good job. All right, now we have plank on your desk. So this can either be from your elbows or your hands. So if you go from your elbows, it's just gonna look like this. And you're gonna hold hands up here. So we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Good job, we're at 10 seconds about here. And five, four, three, two, one, and down. All right, and that's the end of the workout. So we're just gonna walk it out for a couple minutes here. Just slowly kind of help our heart rate get back down. If you want, you can kind of hopefully walk around your office or um, walk down the hall, try to go down and get some water, um, have your water bottle around you. It's a good workout. If you have time, going through it one or two more times can also be helpful. <coughs> get a little more water here. 
Or if you have, don't have enough time, maybe doing a couple exercises here and there during your work day and just trying to fit it in where you can. If you have a quick 30 second break, minute break, doing some push-ups, so going into squats, going into some lunges, trying to plot out different exercises and breaks throughout your day. Even for two or three minutes, maybe once every hour you're doing an exercise. So, I hope you all enjoyed your workout. That's the end of it for today. And tune in next time for one of our next workout sessions.